as what I was saying is that you send your daughter or son to school and they get into grade six. Then student counselors come in and they start telling your kids that uh, they don't have to listen to you when it comes to sex. So you can go down to the health room or wherever. You can give out condoms, um, birth control. And they tell, well, you don't have to tell your parents. Is that it's your body, it's your business. Well, unfortunately, I dis disagree with that because how does the teachers or student councils know what morals that you're trying to instill in your kids? Now, if I was a Muslim and um, if my kid didn't have a chance to go out and um, have their prayer time, Oh, there'd be a big fuss. Oh, well, we, we have to respect that. We have to res respect the Muslims and respect the Jewish Jewish people. And that, but when it comes to um, ordinary people, like Christians, like myself, um, well, we the, the teacher said, well, you don't have to listen to that. Like, your parents don't control your body. Well, I might not control their body, but I, I control what goes on in my home. And the schools have no right to um, say, well, you don't have to listen to your parents. And they encourage the um, young people that it's okay to go out and have sex. It's your body. Well, I think at 14, 12, 13, you know, you're not, you're not old enough to understand uh, the complications of going out and having sex. I mean, you can get pregnant condoms break or just the fact that the teachers are overruling what the parents are trying to do now on on the other hand if your son and daughter act up well you get a call from the school well your your kid was acting up and you know not doing as you know we said and you got to do something about it well meanwhile my kid was raised up to be a certain way and then they get into grade six and seven. The teachers start saying, well, you don't have to listen to your parents because it's your body and you can have birth control and you can have condoms. Then the kid turns around and starts um, going against what the teachers say. Well, why should a kid listen to the teachers? Because the teacher said, well, you don't have to listen to your parents. And, you know, because you can call children's aid on them if they're, if they're not doing things right if they're not respecting you because it's your body it's your thing so the kids turn around and go well if I don't have to listen to them about sex then I don't have to listen to them about anything so then the teachers are on the phone with the, with the parents going well you got to do something well you're the ones that screwed it up you know, you're the one that told my kid or my daughter as an example that they want to have sex they can well you just gave them a, the okay you also gave them the fact that they don't have to listen to me as a parent or any parent. So they're going out and doing whatever they want because they're like their main authority figure was sitting at home, the parents. And then you turn around and go, well, you don't have to. So then they wonder why kids screw up. Well, I'll tell you right now, I am glad that my kids are out of the school system. I, I couldn't I couldn't deal with that again. I do not like what's what's going on in the public school system. It's horrible. But luckily I don't have to deal with it anymore. Let someone else deal with it. I try talking to them. I called the school board, I called the principals at meetings. They said you can't be doing this, you know. Well they, they you 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 can't say what your son and daughter wants to do because they have to learn how to express themselves and they gotta do this yeah until they start getting in trouble then all of a sudden well i have to do something about it and screw that i could go on for hours about that i just terrible but um another thing that has i'm getting tired of too and oh, pisses me off i have a stutter well, granted you're not hearing it at the moment but i do I start. I started stuttering when I was three, and I'm getting so fed up with going into a store, and let's say I'm trying to order something. So I go to the counter, 
and I started stuttering. Well, the clerk behind the counter is looking at me like, well, you know, he's he's got some something wrong upstairs, and they start smirking. So of course that makes my stuttering even worse, because I feel like, you know, they're just looking at me funny. Maybe not all people are doing that, but uh, it's just, you know, it's really bad when, um, let's let's say if if I had. Um, uh, if there was something wrong with my legs or my my arms, and like if I was if I was paralyzed one side, well, they'd say, "Well, you can't laugh at that person." Well, if you have a stutter, you shouldn't be laughing at that either. You know, it is it is a it is a, like if you've never stuttered, then you don't understand what it takes to go through. And I'll tell you, teachers don't understand it. Because they think if you stutter, you have a learning disability. And I fought the schools on that because they thought I had a learning disability because I stutter. Well, I don't. But if you, I'll tell you right now, if you see someone that's stuttering and they're stuck on a word and you know what the word is, don't say it. You're not helping. You're not helping by filling in the blanks. The person who's stuttering will say the word. They know the word. They don't need someone to say, well, if, if I get stuck on, let's say, uh, going to the mall, like if I get stuck on mall. Well, I know what mall is. I know what the word is. I know how to spell the mall. I know how to say it, but I get stuck. So please stop filling in the blanks. I don't need it. And anyone else who stutters will tell you the same thing. Do not, because one thing, it makes you... Makes you the person even more hyper because most people who stutter have done it for a long time. They know what, how people look at them. So if we're sitting here, like if I'm sitting here and I'm stuck on a word, I got to say I'm stuck on, uh, I don't know, automobile. So if I get stuck on the A, well, I know it's automobile, but at that precise time I am having a hard time saying it. It doesn't happen every time, but sometimes it does. If you get nervous or if you're in some place new, whatever, it happens. Well I know the word automobile. You know, you come along and go, hey, you know, this is the word automobile. I'll say it for you. Well, that's not helping. So stop. Don't need assistance in saying words. Anyways, enough of the ranting. So, I think I'm going to go to bed now. So, everyone have a good night. And I'll try to make another blog tomorrow. So, we'll talk to you again. Take care. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. And if you want to hear more of my ranting or whatever, hit the little subscribe and the bell. You want more of my content. So, have a good night. Take care.